rapists on a beach and decided to change their lives. I solemnly swear that in one year I will buy my house back. I will be famous. I will be married. New sports steering wheel will be good. <laughs> Rich, famous and married in 365 days' time. Just talk right. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know. Amazing how you can say you're going to change everything and then you do. And then kiss the bride. Cody actually got married, and a rugby started first. Britta, well, in her own way. You are famous. I'm so not. You are to them. You're a totally famous and important person. Well, not very. You really are the wisest person. It turned out pretty crap for Amy. We were scared. You're such a lovely young couple. Well, I believe we have a deal. This beautiful house is worth nothing. Oh, Angie! Do you want to know how I'm doing? She's pretty. Dad has offered to cover the loan. If I try and work things out with Angie, she wants the baby. They want grandchildren. Which was stink because it was her idea in the first place, and also because. Still got me, eh? Well, even though I said all I wanted was a sports steering wheel, what I really wanted was Amy. that Amy lives with me now, so things have changed, all right. Morning, Kev. But it's not quite turning out how I imagined. Morning, bro. No, not at all. Hi, Kev. Morning. at a crap time, right? Things will get better. I've just got to wait it out. Oh, no. Okay, now, if a guy called Gavin rings, you've never heard of me, right? I had a weak moment. They gave my real number instead of a fake. No worries. Kevin! Did you sell us the toothpaste? <laughs> Otherwise, I might have to murder the girl of my dreams. So take a piece of my heart, babe And take a piece of my heart, babe Because there's no one in the world that can do it better than he can Take a piece of my heart, babe Take a piece of my heart, babe Because there's no one Pleasure, we missed you. You sure you won't come in for a coffee? No, you've got wedded bliss to get on with. Yeah, we'd leave you to it. Hey, you want to come stay next weekend or something? I've got heaps of stuff to get ready for school. Bye bye, Mr. and Mrs. Fatsalili. Thanks, guys. So this is the bit where I carry you over the threshold. Only if you want to do your back in. <laughs> 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 to my mates. You'd be Cody, the little lady. Hmm? Sorry I didn't make the wedding. Had a bit of trouble to sort out across the ditch. A couple of the cricketers went on a bender. <laughs> How did he get in here? Team manager gave me a key. Now, I've got another client at six, naughty newsreader, say no more. So, uh, we want to rip into it? Into what, Eli? Well, first up, the honeymoon scoop, right? Eli and Cody's island romance. Then I thought we'd follow that up uh, with a puff piece. Eli back in training with wifey sort of waving from the sidelines, you know. Ah, 
but you might want to put a bit of lip gloss on it because the first Juno is arriving at four. So. Hey, Mike, what the? He's a publicist. He works for the club. We have to do this media stuff. It's in my contract. Yeah, yeah, it's in your contract. But does the bullshit have to start the minute we step off the plane? We all ready? Hey, got the happy faces on? <laughs> That's the story, kiddos. <laughs> Was it amazing? The honeymoon was everything I imagined and more. Fiji was stunning and the people were so friendly. Not that we left the hotel room. <laughs> that was great! We don't know. Oh, oh, beauty. And the truth? Eli was off doing the pool boy the whole time? Really? No! It was completely perfect in every way. Oh. As in? As in it was just like a real honeymoon. How real? We seriously. Hardly left the hotel room. <laughs> so, he's not like a pillow biter anymore then? Talk about my husband like that again and I'll smack ya. That is fantastic news, babe, but I've got work, so I've got to go. Drinks later? Or ten. <laughs> hey, she's doing all right, eh? Hey, considering what happened. Yeah, she's really brave. So glad she's coping. Actually, she's not that all right, eh? Hey? Just a sec. I'm s One night stand before. Some guy called Ross. Oh no. No way, I'm not here. <sighs> She's not here. Jeez. But that's like a stage, right? In the whole breakup process thing, my jiggy. See, you don't hang around with three chicks all your life without learning a thing, too. No, Kevin. Until they go and change the rules. Well, actually, yes, it is a stage. And change them back again. But not baby. Nah. Ames doesn't get shit face and shag just anyone. Oh, except for Kevin that one time after your engagement party. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, thanks. If it's upsetting you, I can have a talk to her. Um, I don't want her to think I've been blabbing or anything. Kevin, I promise I will be very, very, very subtle. Kevin doesn't like the way you're sleeping around. What? It's upsetting him. Oh, no way. He's over all that. And it's upsetting us too, me and Cody, because we know it's not you. It is now. Since when? Since Brad called and asked me to meet him. Oh my God, he did? You know, my father's offer to pick up your half of the debt, it still stands. Oh, I already said no thanks. But you're struggling. I'm fine. And how do you even know this anyway? Your mum. Yes, I went to see Brad's parents to apologize, Amy. What? My daughter dragged yeah, their son bad. into a real estate no, scam, cost his family an enormous yeah. amount of money, and if that wasn't enough, she tried to break up his marriage. Do you know how mortified I was? Do you know how humiliating this has all been for me? Whoa, I know, she is such a bitch. Brad offered to cover your debt. His parents did. And you said no. Of course I said no. Why? Because there's... And if you say anything about having pride or a code of honor, I will pull your hair really hard. Amy, it's not fair. Brad gets to live happily ever after with his pregnant wife and no money problems and, well, you're sagging. I am not! No, I mean there is a sad energy around you pushing you into the ground. And they say that money can't buy happiness but it can buy wine and pizza and pay your rent and I think you should say yes. No. Well, you'd probably be doing it for Brad as well. How do you figure that? He must be feeling pretty guilty. And it's bad enough he has to live with a witch for the rest of his life, so maybe you should just stop punishing him and take the cash. Do it for Brad. Do it. For Brad. Party invitations. One movie premiere, two happy nights at the theatre, a wanky wine launch, some breakfast DJ's 40th, and three different fundraisers. Kids, your calendar is full! Sounds like a code. Well... Um, I don't really like the theatre, and why would I want to go to someone's 40th if I don't even know them? Well, because you've been invited, because you're Mrs Fasalili, and because we need you two on all the social pages. You've had your honeymoon thing, isn't that enough? No, no. <clears throat> I'll handle this one, mate. bloke like Eli Fasalini. Well, yeah, but, I mean, no-one's interested in looking at pictures of us in the social pages. Well, actually, love, they are. Very much so. Because between you and me, 
They're all dying to know if it's real. Hey? <clears throat> the wedding was beaut, but the poofta rumors haven't gone away. And that's why I'm here, to straighten <laughs> things out. Things don't need... I the mean... The club is nervous, the sponsors are nervous. That should make you nervous. Well, I'm not. We're married. He, he's, n he's not going to run off and I'm do... I'm talking about his career. You see, if his own wife isn't even sure, we're up shit creek. I am sure. Good, because it may well be the 21st century, but this is rugby, and no one wants a limp-wristed all-black mincing his way through the harker. He is not an all-black contender. And have you ever asked yourself why that hasn't happened for him? Now, look, love. Me personally, I got nothing against the gay boys. Some of my best friends are pansies. Oh, for shit's sake. Well, you've done really well so far. I mean, you let the nation know you got a good scene too on your honeymoon. Because I did, and it was real, and it was great. That's the way. We stick to that story. It's not a story. I'm telling you Excellent. the truth. Brilliant. I'm not spinning any bull here. I'm telling okay, you. Okay, no, 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 no. Tone it down now, because it might look like you're protesting too much. <laughs> Everything all right, baby? Right as rain. Isn't it, love? So, yeah, you sit on the beach and make a piss talk promise one day, and a year later, you've got a flinty in your life. I'm really sorry for the way I've been. Play dumb, Kev. How do you mean? Don't play dumb. How does she do that? I have been inconsiderate and selfish, but all that is about to change. I'm sorting my life out. Oh, and I'm not bringing home random guys anymore. Hey, well, whatever, sweetest. I love you, Kev. Yeah, no, nah, me too. Now, do I look okay? Sure, uh, no, nah, well, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yes. The old Amy is back, forgetting last year's dumb mistakes and ready to move on. Where are you going anyway? I'm going to see Brad. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Amy. Take a seat. Brad thought it would be a good idea if I took things from her. There's no way in hell you are meeting with her. But, Angie... There are legal documents involved. Oh, God. For God's sake, don't be an idiot. You came here to agree to the loan, didn't you? Or was it just another excuse to see my husband again? No. Well, then let's get it over with, shall we? $200,000 to be direct credited into a nominated bank account upon the signing of these papers. It's an interest-free loan, repayable on demand, though the family have indicated they won't be asking for payment so long as the terms and conditions are adhered to. Well, I'll have to read the terms and conditions before I sign. You did learn something before you dropped out of law school then. Hey. Hi. Are you another? Definitely. How's Brad? Please don't ever mention that name again. Yeah, sweet. A non-contact order, Kevin. Yeah, I'm okay with that, okay? Never no, had any contact with the guy anyway. You, me. They want me to sign this thing here, promising never to see him, speak to him, or email him ever again, like I'm some kind of stalker, some kind of psycho. I'm not. Yeah, no, no, of course you're not, Alex. I wouldn't sign this. It's not worth 200000 I wouldn't sign it if it was worth $2 million. Hey? Taking the money, it'd be like admitting I was some kind of desperate, tragic bunny boiler. It'll back up the truck. Brad wants to give you 200k. Yeah, his parents. And all you have to do for the 200k is agree just to never see the guy again. Yes. The guy who dumped you went back to his wife and who you never want to see again. Yes. Sorry, where's the problem? God, Kevin. Oh, just think about it, Ames. I mean, get rid of your stress, powerful. They dance. want to pay me off. Pay me to disappear from his life. Man, if I got paid for every time I got bloody dumped. It's not a joke. Yeah, no, 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 of course not. Sorry. Just, um, think about it, eh? eh? Sure. How can I not? No, oh, shakes. If it was me, I would be celebrating.
take your contract and shove it up your ass. Sideways. But what about... Sorry, about that? Hi. Hi. Excuse me a second, Dave. Dean. Dean? What are you doing? Well, what are you doing? Having fun? Well, it doesn't look like it. Oh, I'll just uh, go empty the... Uh... At least the drinks are free. Is that what you've been doing this whole time? Shagging for Chardonnay? Champagne tonight? Oh, my God. I thought it was to get bread out of your system. No, look. I can't afford to buy my own drinks, but I figured there are plenty of guys who are willing to buy them for me, OK? But, and don't mention Brad and Angelina's stupid contract. I'm not taking their money. I'm not prostituting myself. Um, aren't you? That is so rich coming from the girl who with half the North Shore because she felt sorry for them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's true. Sympathy sex is not the same as having sex for stuff. If you're calling me a slut, then look around. I am not a slut. What? Okay, how many guys in this room have you seen with? No one, except for Kevin. He doesn't count. Cheers. Oh, no? That guy looks familiar. Look, he was really nervous about failing his exams, and one guy, that hardly makes me look hot. <laughs> so what if I'm really friendly and open to stuff? At least I'm on a bitch. Please go for a special on the face and make cry. She was so mean and all I did was call her a bitch. You called Amy a bitch? Well, she was being a bitch. Well, maybe she was just lashing out. She called me a slut. The cheek of it. You're not a slut, mate. Of course she isn't. You're popular, just like your mother was. We all were. I was only trying to stop Amy from throwing herself at this hideous guy. Why couldn't she just take the money from Brad Dickfield anyway? Because apparently it's way more fun to pick up guys and sleep with them so they pay for your drinks and taxi fare and dinner. Can't argue with that. Well, look, instead of sitting here bitching, we should be helping. Kevin already has. He's letting her stay at his house for free. Yeah, but if she rations my cornflakes one more bloody time, me. Eh? We've tried, Cody. Really. <laughs> Princess. Hi, Dad. How's it going? Oh, I've been better. Well, what do you want? Brad's mother told me that you've turned in their kind offer of a loan, told Angelina to shove it. Yeah, up her ass, sideways. We didn't raise you to use language Look, like that. Look, it's okay. We're not here to try to pressure you to change your mind. Good, because I would never give Angelina the satisfaction. Well, you know my opinion. Ali, shush. We want to help, okay? We love you, Princess, and we want to get things sorted. Oh, thank you. You know I hate borrowing money from people, and I'll pay you back. Hold on, love. We can't really do that. Well, everything I have is tied up in a term investment. If I break it, then... Right. We can't give you money, but we can give you something more valuable. Advice. First thing you need to do is transfer finder seekers into Scott's name. Pardon? If the bank comes after you, if they file for bankruptcy, they can't sell it out from under you. Right. No point dragging Scott down with me, huh? Exactly. <laughs> I've got to go. No, princess. No, really, I've got to go. A lot of work to do. Well, um, you're welcome at home any time, you know that. Oh, great, thanks. Right, oh, no. Me and Ali are living proof that no matter how grim it gets, there's always a silver lining. Pardon? We're trying to work things out, me and your mother. And take it from me, love. Booze is never the answer. Right, Any messages? Some dude called Ross. Call him. Urgently. Not again. Oof. I'm not a keeper then. <sighs> hey. Hey. Um, bakery run. Need it? Hey, is this about Britta? I was really horrible to her. She's alright. <laughs> really? Well, no. But, um, neither are you, eh? Hey? 
Remember the time that I couldn't afford a skirt for the fourth form social and you accidentally bought one four sizes too big for you? That was a genuine mistake. Bullshit. You saw that I was upset and you did something about it. And what goes around comes around. What is this? Just pay me back whenever. I hate to tell you babe, but that skirt did not cost four figures. Anyway, I can't take this. You know the rules, never borrow from friends. Come on, Ames. I can afford it. The only good thing about doing the magazines is sometimes we get paid. We're doing okay. Um, but for how long? Eh? Nothing. No, what did you mean? Well, up until the morning of the wedding, you weren't even going to marry Eli. Yeah, but I did. Uh-huh. Just spit it out, Ames. Well, is he suddenly not gay anymore? I'm sorry, I'm just saying what everyone else is thinking. Come on, you must be thinking it yourself. Hey, those retro papers you... Reading the body language. So he's faking it with me and I'm too dumb to know the difference, yeah? Is that what you're telling me? I'm not saying that. Look, what I'm saying is you can't force things. You can't turn a pile of socks into a million dollars. And you can't turn a pofta straight. Thanks for clarifying. Shit. You know what? Brett was right about the bitch thing. Oh. Okay, maybe I should say something supportive. Yes? Rejo papers. Just put them. Or well, maybe not. Go ahead, stick it up, eh? Very nice. They've been nice. You look bloody good. And now, my friends, we enter the final phase. Then we will be home and hosed, and my work here will be done. Good. <clears throat> this is Tanya. Who's Tanya? <laughs> Eli, you heartbreaker. Tanya is your jilted lover. Hey, eh? Just quietly, I think I've outdone myself here. Tanya is going to do a story. Love rat Eli broke my heart. All about how he rooted his silly, then dumped her the day before he got married. We counter that with Cody, why I'm standing by my man. It is gold, people. Oh, oh. See, I, I don't know. Man. I do. It's bullshit, and it makes Eli look like a prick. Yes, it does. A womanizing prick. You see my point? We're not doing it. Wait, so maybe we can talk about it later. There's nothing to talk about, is there? Let me know when it's sorted. Hey. Hi. You're home tonight? I can't really afford to do much else, can I? Oh, cool. I'll buy the pizza then, eh? My shout. Oh, great. More charity. Yeah, well, at least you don't have to... Don't have to what, Kevin? Nothing. It was just like a joke, eh? This is another joke about me being a prostitute. Yeah. Hold on. Is that uh, Ross guy again? Uh, yeah, mate, she's here, but she doesn't want to talk to you, eh? Uh, because she's done with creeps like you in one night stands. Yeah, because uh, deep down she knows that getting pissed, shaking lots of random dudes isn't helping, eh? It's just making her feel stink. And she shouldn't feel stink because she is a good person. It's true, Ames, you've got to know, eh? And my bank manager. Does he have to know? Oh, shit. Cheers, Kev. Yeah, well, you know what? Easy mistake, because there have been shitloads of dudes and it's getting really boring. Yeah, well, it's my business, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is, Ames, so do what you want, eh? I'm so not a slut. Hi, Wayne. And my husband is not a homo? Over her. When were you ever really under her? Oh my god, you're really over Amy? Yeah. Oh, is that why you let her stay without paying rent in that? Because you fancied her? No, of course not. You always made me pay rent in that. Oh, not that much rent. <laughs> and then she took advantage and treated you like cried such a cow. Reckon? Guys, just uh, to quit it, eh? Oh, is this because you're really not over her? No, it's because she's a mate, no matter what happens. And but... also because she's standing right behind you. Yeah, well, you did call Britta a slut. I know because she called me a whore. I did not. Prostitute. 
I am not. No, that's what you called me. Uh, this was getting out of control. Someone had to do something, and usually that'd be Amy. But because she wasn't herself anymore, someone else was gonna have to be her. What? Enough! What? It's bullshit, okay? It's all gonna stop. So here's what we're gonna do. Hey, I make quite a good Amy. And I don't know why I didn't think of this before, because this idea is pure genius. Okay? This is it. Getting pissed on the beach, that's meant to fix everything? Getting pissed on the beach changed our lives, so we do it again, just like we did last year. Yeah, decide on what you want and go for it. Yeah? Come on, it worked for us last year, right? How exactly? I'm not exactly famous. Well, you are in your own kind of special way. <laughs> Why? Because half the punches at the tack and now I'm a great big slapper? Yeah, no, Cody got what she wanted, yeah? Did I? Yeah, I never imagined that wedding, eh? There's a guy who's been hired to manage my marriage, to make up stories to prove that my husband is not gay. And my husband is happy to go along with it, which means he must have something to hide. Oh. You're, you're probably right, Amy. It's all going to fall apart at any second. Of course it is. And I'm sorry, because it was my idea. My stupid, pathetic idea. Uh, come on, Ames. All you have to do is decide on a new ambition. But there must be something. Yeah. OK. Here we go. I've got one. I want you all to stop being my friend because I'm crap, OK? Aim high, reach for the stars and all those clichés. They are all a load of bull. Oh, but here's one that's not. Life's a bitch and so am I. This, I swear. Sorry, guys. Ames! Like I said, genius. OK. So it turns out my idea was a stink idea. So now I just get my head down and wait for it to blow up. Yeah. Oh, crap. Is Amy right? Am I the biggest slut ever? I had this party and the dad was really sad because he's going through this really messy divorce and he hardly ever got to see his kid. And she was halfway through her fairy wish and he started to cry. Right. You think I doffed him, don't you? Uh, did you? Nearly. We were kissing in the kitchen, but then I saw her looking in through the window and she was like... Honestly, Kevin, I was going to do him at his own kid's party. Kev, honestly, am I a slut? No. You said that, no, like there was actually a little bit of yes in it. Bugger. Yeah, nah, I just mean you're friendly. No, you think I'm a slut. Maybe you're right. Shit. How to get out of this one. Thank you. Hello. Uh, I was looking for Amy. She's not answering the phone. Yeah, well, she's probably out with some guy. You know, the best thing you can do is just stay the hell away from her right now, okay? She's not in the best headspace. Okay. Okay. Right. Bye. Yeah. It's good to be able to blame someone else, eh? Hey? Where were we? Hmm? Uh, now a bad time to bring up the coffee situation. What coffee situation? I bought the last lot, and it was good coffee. When you bought it, it was instant. There. That's what I've got to live on. You're right, type It's true. I'm not type what. Hi, Amy. I just wanted to say sorry. I had no idea about the contract. I only just found out. Sure. No, I mean, I knew there was a contract about the money, but not about the other bit. How is Angelina? She's got quite severe morning sickness at the moment. What a shame. Amy, take the money from my parents, please. No. It's the least they can do. Because if they hadn't pressured me all my life, if, if they hadn't made my decisions for me, I'd be living happily ever after with the woman I'm in love with. That's it. <sighs> I should never have married Angelina in the first place. But I'm a coward. Or a masochist. <laughs> I 
wish I was more like you. I wish I had your guts, your belief that anything is possible. I still love you, you know. Maybe one day. Maybe not, Brett. Much. Oh, go! Hi, I'm here to see Ross Goodfellow. I don't have an appointment, so... It's okay, she doesn't need one. You're Ross. And you're... Amy Smart. Oh, oh I see. You better come through. trying to talk to my husband, so can you maybe piss off? Cody. Oh, and Flinty, we're not doing the story with the skank, okay? <clears throat> you can take this, Eli. I'm getting a beer. Oh, yeah, you go get a beer, and uh, get one for the small furry animal on top of your head, too. Cody, Jesus. <laughs> oh, sorry for that rug, Look, man. you can't talk to people like that, okay? Flinty's just doing his job, Flinty right? Flinty is an asswipe, and I'm not having him tell me what to do anymore. Tell the club they can save their money, because we don't need him. Look, it wasn't the club who hired him, all right? Bullshit. Baby, I've been playing rugby since I was five years old. It's my life. I thought you got that. It's not ideal, but we're doing this gang story. So we're still lying to you. I think I'll grab that beer with Flinty, eh? Um, Ross, you've got a bit of... Gone. Still can't believe you're only smart. Yes, I am. So just go ahead and put me in receivership. Why? Uh, because... Amy, you're the victim of fraud. You could sue various people. No, including... I didn't want to do that. I've seen what happens to my family. And I couldn't afford it. You've met your mortgage payments. From what I can see, you've really been trying. Yeah. I've gone without food, sponged off my friends, and... become a bitch. You're not. No, I am. It's not every day someone rescues a complete stranger from a vicious parking lot. Well, you see, I was trying not to be so tight. Because usually I'm not, but... No, I've... I have been really, really horrible. It's okay. <laughs> It'll all be okay. Thank you. Do you do any motivational speaking? Oh, only for private clients. I firmly believe we control our own destiny. Oh, absolutely. And it all starts with image. Oh, couldn't agree more. I mean, you're obviously a lady who uh, looks after herself. I try. Very successfully, too, now. <laughs> and Eli here, well, is styly, god of the man. But this guy here, Kelvin, is it? Hey, oh, no, Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. I mean, what's this trying to say? Oh, I'm a mechanic. You see? He doesn't feel he has to make the effort. He has chosen to stay on the bottom of the heap. Hey? Mm, uh, see what you uh, uh, Let me guess, let me guess. Your father was a mechanic and you just sort of fell into it. Oh, no, no, no. My old man died when I was nine along with my old lady. 
I'm sorry to hear that. But let me ask you something, Kevin. You probably expect people to be nice to you when they hear that you're an orphan. Am I right? No. Not me, buddy. No way. You get nowhere in this life by making allowances for people. <laughs> A week with me, Kev, and I could take your sorry existence and actually make it worthwhile. Oh, my God! Who the hell do you think you are? One of life's winners, love. <laughs> the name's Flint. You're a pig. Hey, mate. And Kevin doesn't need you or anyone else to change him. He is a nice guy, a good guy, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, and winning or losing has nothing to do with being nasty or nice. Shit happens, or it doesn't, and there's nothing we can do to change it. But we can be a good friend, a good person. That much we are in charge of. And in a random world, that stands for something. Or it should. So what do I have to do to get a drink? Nothing at all, Ames. I don't know what she just said, but it sounded like a no <laughs> Such a lovely surprise. We thought you'd forgotten us. Now you're a married woman. Is it? Shame you like couldn't join us. Ah, uh, so when does school start, turd? Cordelia. Well, that's what we all got called when we started high school. Because we were turds. Third formers. It's your nine these days. Right. Oh, hey, you want Eli to drop you off on your first day? Make an instant impression, make sure the kids no. know that... How come? Because. What's the problem, Possum? I saw Madison and Tuscany at the mall and they said Eli is a fag. Oh, my goodness! How would they even know such a horrible word? They said he's a bum bandit. Oh, good lord! Well, you tell them that they're wrong. It did. And it totally worked. Listen to me. Eli's not gay, all right? Do you promise? Do you swear on the Holy Bible? Well, hey, I'm his wife. I should know, right? Of course you are. It's bull. We know it. Everyone knows it. Yeah, but you have to say that. Hey, wakey, wakey. Night. Oh, no, you don't. No! Wanna tell me why not? What do you think? You totally shamed me out in front of my colleagues today, Cody. You sure that's it? Or is it just an excuse? Eh? Well, Possum is getting shit from the little cows at school, and I had to cross my fingers behind my back while I swore on the Holy Cody, Bible, and my mum and dad... What is you... our marriage a crock? What do you think? I think being gay isn't just something you can turn off. So did you only marry me as a cover? Did you only marry me because you'd set yourself a deadline? I love you, you stupid woman. I meant what I said in the church on our wedding day, including the bit about forsaking all others. Baby, you gotta trust me. So guys really don't do it for you anymore? You do it for me. That's not what everyone else thinks. Yeah, tell Flinty we'll do the story about the skank. No, we won't. Well, if that's what it takes to prove to the world that you're a big Yeah, but what would it do to Possum? Your mum. My mum. Did you just say you love me? Stupid woman. You better be here because you're going to sign. Angie. Take a seat, Amy. Actually, this won't take long. Brad, please tell your parents thank you so much for the offer, but I have to say no. For God's sake. I won't take the money and I won't sign the contract, but I also... I won't contact you ever again. Either of you. This has been difficult for everyone, but we all just need to move on, right? Yes. The loan and the contract, it'll just keep us attached. So, thank you. Good luck with the baby. So once again, Brad the Tin Ass gets off lightly. Maybe you do get what you deserve. Ross extended the length of the loan, which has brought down the monthly payments, which means I could afford to buy. <laughs> you know what this means? Oh, no way. You're doing Kevin's idea. Well, it was my idea originally. 
I was given that in this time. Yeah, the boys are. And as I have said, Kevin was right. For real. You heard. Uh, no, 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 I didn't actually say. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with making promises to ourselves. Only this year, mine will be different. It's not going to be something selfish or shallow like getting rich. This year, I'm going to repay my debt. And I'm going to be a good person. I'm not going to think of myself. I will only help others. Like a beauty queen? No. Actually, yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean it. I am going to help at least one person every month. This, I absolutely swear. Yeah, whether they like it or not, eh, Ames? Sure, oh, it's for their own good. What is so wrong with that? Britta? Well, OK. I'm not saying I've been a hoe, but I haven't been discriminating. So, I'm going to find the one. True love. Oh. He has to be out there somewhere. He? <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's definitely a he. Probably. And this year, I'm going to find them. Oh, you're so do it, Brit. Now that I'm not a slut. Hey, I never meant that. And I'm so sorry. Oh, me too. Yeah. Oh, Quick, diversion. Before they start blubbering or telling each other you're such a good friend. Uh, codes. It's your turn. Well, she's already got hers. The wedding of the year. <laughs> Except a wedding's just a wedding. After that comes the marriage, and that's the hard part. But I'm gonna make it work. For real. I swear that in one year's time, I will be married. Still. Yay! <laughs> oh, easy peasy. Not when your husband's an ex-homo. What about you? Shit, I don't know, eh? Nah, you wanted to do this, and you better not say mag Oh, oh, new stereo system. Nah, 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 okay. Okay, okay. This year, I am aiming higher. <laughs> what does that mean? It means... Oh, well, you know what it means when I figure it out myself. Oh, whatever, that'll do. Maybe there is more to life than ciggies and pokies. Haven't had a bit of how's your father for a while. Yeah, it's been a bit dry for me too lately. But you know, if Cody can do it, as I swear, by the end of the year, I'll have a regular rodgery. <laughs> I'll be there way before you. That's my idea. I thought of it first. No, you did So here we go again. And maybe we're stupid or suckers for punishment. But hey, dreams are free. But yay for Kev with the best idea. Oh, uh, actually, yeah. it was my idea originally. Even if it wasn't the best idea in the whole world. Hey, nah. It was a good idea. And without it, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. And I don't know. Here and now feels like a kind of cool place to be, eh? Aiming high, does that mean, like, a tall girlfriend?